or Puerto Rico, where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of seen as unconscionable. Those comments from President Joe Biden set off a firestorm, according to Politico, with Republicans like Marco Rubio calling on the president to apologize for calling Donald Trump supporters garbage. Now, I watched the video and was really pleased to see Biden correctly call Trump supporters garbage because I think it's just objectively true. But upon watching the video again, it is evident that he probably made more of a Freudian slip and just misspoke, and he did take to Twitter to confirm that he didn't mean what it looked like he meant, saying, Earlier today, I referred to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump supporters at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. That's all I meant to say. The comments at that rally don't reflect who we are as a nation. Now, even though he took the time to clarify what he meant, I don't think that Republicans are going to give him a pass for this, and worse, I don't think that the media will give him a pass as well because they're going to use this as an opportunity to appear fair and balanced and making it seem as if Trump and Biden's rhetoric is comparably bad when that's just factually incorrect and deeply, deeply dishonest. Now, am I glad that he clarified because it's just bad politics to insult voters before an election? Yeah, strategically speaking, it makes sense that he would say this. But morally speaking, am I sad that he chose to walk it back? Yeah, I am. And the reason why I have no problem saying that is because for months now, we've seen Donald Trump again and again, not just talk about Democrats as garbage and talking about using the military to violently quash anti-Trump protests that may pop up if he's elected again and talking about us as if we're the enemy within and not to mention his racist attacks, his neo-Nazi lies that he was spreading about Haitian migrants who are illegal immigrants who he says he wants to deport. He has been talking shit for months. But the second Joe Biden gives him just a little bit of a taste of his own medicine, the right collectively loses their fucking mind and the media goes along with it. Because rather than pointing out the fact that Donald Trump is a fascist and his rally at Madison Square Garden was effectively a neo-Nazi rally that was eerily reminiscent of the 1939 Nazi rally held at Madison Square Garden, the media is going to use this as an opportunity to both sides of the situation and make it seem as if Democrats and Republicans are comparable. They're both divisive and they both need to turn down the heat. This gives hack outlets like Politico the opportunity to pretend as if they're neutral and they attack both sides equally. But both sides are not the same here. Biden can say, fuck all of Donald Trump supporters, they can eat my ass. And it wouldn't be nearly as vitriolic as all of the shit we've seen from Donald Trump for eight fucking years. And after spending years demonizing trans people and LGBTQ plus people, calling black Americans in powerful positions DEI choices, now those same people are crying about dehumanization after getting a taste of their own medicine. Case in point, Charlie Kirk had the audacity to tweet this out. Joe Biden is using dehumanizing language towards 80 million Americans, calling Trump supporters garbage. This is how the worst atrocities of the 20th century begin again in 2024. They think you are garbage, therefore worthy of elimination. Oh, he went there. This motherfucker went there. The guy who is afraid of black pilots went there. If I see a black pilot, I'm going to be like, boy, I hope he's qualified. Biden's rhetoric is dehumanizing to the point where he wants to genocide Trump supporters. That's effectively what he's saying. Ironically, after months of Donald Trump talking about how he wants to use the military against the left, calling us the enemy within, talking about using a law from the 1700s to violently round up immigrants and place them in militarized camps. Those same people are now crying about dehumanization. You can't make this fucking shit up. They can dish it, but they can't take it. They can call every single queer person a groomer, and some of them even celebrate when mass shootings happened, like at the one at Club Q. Remember that? But the second Biden maybe says 
you're garbage because of your politics that are, quite frankly, racist and fascistic, you cry and claim that you're the ones who are actually the victims who's being dehumanized after your entire political project is dehumanization. Charlie Kirk himself has talked about the need to deport all immigrants because he wants them out of his country. He wants the country to be white again. He didn't say that specifically, but that's the subtext. Get them out of my country. Send them home. This transcends race. This transcends income. I want my country back. I don't want America to become Honduras. Adios. I want my culture back. We're talking about people who use violent rhetoric on a daily basis who melt down like snowflakes the second they get even a minimal amount of scrutiny from a politician, the Democratic Party, and the media plays along with this bullshit every fucking time. It goes back to 2016. Remember when Hillary Clinton made that deplorables comment? She was right about that. She said that basically there were Trump supporters who had legitimate concerns about the economy and there were others who were basically deplorable. You could put them in a basket of deplorables. Now, Hillary Clinton was right about that. But the media demeaned her for that and ripped her a new asshole, even though Donald Trump said things that were far worse about the Democratic Party and their supporters. And we've seen this again and again and again. After Donald Trump's assassination attempt, the media was in lockstep with some Republicans who were calling on Democrats to turn down the temperature because they implied that Democrats calling Donald Trump a fascist, correctly so, might I add, was tantamount to an incitement of violence against him but he's objectively a fascist. So they're just saying, don't tell the truth about him. And if you do, you're inciting violence against him. But none of them mentioned the fact that back in 2016, Trump literally raised the specter of assassinating Hillary Clinton, saying that the Second Amendment people can do something about her if she chose to come after their guns. If she gets to pick her judges, nothing you can do, folks. Although the Second Amendment people, maybe there is, I don't know. But... It's a double standard. Democrats are always held to a higher standard while Donald Trump and Republicans are graded on a curve because as a country, we've just accepted that they're going to say terrible things and we have to be okay with that. But if Democrats do something similar, well, then we all have to melt down because we expect more of them. I'm sick of the bullshit. If you're going to dish it, you should be able to take it. And if you're going to demonize half the country, don't be surprised when you get a taste of your own medicine. So I don't know if Joe Biden meant what he said, but regardless, what it sounded like he said was true. If you support Donald Trump, who is a fascist who supports rounding up immigrants and placing them in militarized camps and using the military against citizens who protest him, violating our First Amendment rights, you are a garbage person. If you support that, you're garbage. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.